Okay, I'm going to go back to talking about powers now. Uh, so we've got two rules, x to the power a plus b equals x to the a times x to the b, and also x to the power ab equals x to the power a all to the power b, which is quite nice. Uh, and we've, we've established that uh, these kind of make sense for a and b greater than or equal to zero. A or B greater than or equal to zero, which is nice. We had zero in the last one, I think. All right. So what are we gonna, where are we going to go with that? Let's try with a a times b. Um, let's have a times b equals one, and then then we might have something sensible to say. Okay. So let's try a equals one third. No, let's just try a half first, and b equals two, and then of course a b equals a half times two, which equals one. So what does this rule give us with these numbers here? That tells us that x to the power a half times 2, times 2, because I'm just multiplying, I'm just using this, equals x to the power a, x to the power 1 half to the power b, which is squared. So this one here is just x to the power 1, which equals x, of course. x equals x to the power a half squared. Well, that's nice. So we can rewrite that, because we, we've got a notation already for x to the power of half, which is root x squared equals x. Well, we knew that, because you take the square root of x and you square it, you go back to where you started. We can do something else. We can say x, let's just write it out again, x to the power a b equals x to the power a to the power b. You see how I'm always writing down the fundamental relationship? That's why I never forget it, because I write it down every single time. Now here we had a equals a half and b equals two. All right, well let's try it the other way around. Let's try a equals two and b equals a half. Do we get anything different? Well, let's try it. We've got x to the power two times a half equals x to the power a, which is x squared, because a equals two now, to the power a half. And so that's just x to the power one, which is just x, equals the square root. Now let me do it one step at a time. That's x to the power 1, which equals x, that's just that, equals x squared to the power of half. And of course, something to the power of half is a square root. So that is saying that x equals the square root of x squared. Okay. So that's giving us two nice little pieces of information about square root of x. That's giving us two things. That tells us firstly that x equals the square root of x squared, and then this one here is saying the opposite. Well, it's not the opposite exactly, it's the square root of x squared. You see, you say them in the same same way. This one is the square root of x squared, and this is the square root of x squared. Well, that's quite nice. That's quite nice. So we can take x, we can go to with this one, that's taking us x going to the square root of x, and then the square root of x squared, and that's just doing nothing because, you, well, that's just taking you back to where you started. And this one is saying that is saying that, and this is saying take x, go to x squared, and then do the square root of x squared, and that equals x. So what they're ta saying us is that the square root and the square are kind of opposites, are kind of inverses to one another. Okay, that's quite nice. I'm going to stop there.